Robert Milliken was born in a small town of Morrison, Illinois on March 22, 1868. His parents were both extremely successful with his mother pursuing a career as the Dean of Women at Michigan College and his father being a congregational minister. In 1875, Milliken and his family moved to Marquetta, Iowa and he graduated from Marquetta High School. Shortly before college, he worked as a court reporter, assuming that he was not going to be in a science field. He then enrolled at Oberlin College and in his junior year, his Greek professor assigned him to teach a beginner's physics class. Despite not knowing anything on the subject, his professor believed he could catch on quickly due to his ability to grasp information easily. He spent the whole next summer studying physics and therefore taught his class eagerly. He grew in love with the subject and continued teaching at Oberlin for another two years. With his studies, he married Greta Blanchard in 1902 and had three children. After staying at Oberlin for two years, he earned his undergraduate degree and went on to get his graduate degree at Columbia University. Then he received a fellowship and was the only student majoring in physics at the time. Michael Pupin, inventor and physicist, helped guide Milliken through studies and encouraged him to study abroad after receiving his PhD. In Europe, he worked under the finest physicists, Max Planck and Walter Nernst, who were studying the discovery of X-rays and radioactivity. Once he returned to Europe, he landed a job as a professor at University of Chicago's Ryerson Laboratory. His goal was to form a solid physics program and curriculum amongst the United States. He wrote many books on the topics of physics, heat, and electricity, which were used by many students over many generations. Millikan performed the prominent oil drop experiment, which calculated the overall charge of an electron. Following his success, he studied the photoelectric effect and validated Einstein's equation of photoelectric effect. In the 1920s, he became the executive counsel of the California Institute of Technology. Along with his role, he promoted education in science fields, administrative duties, and fundraising. His skills in the administrative department were just as helpful as his skills with physics and experiments, and it made California Tech a relevant school for science and technology. He passed away in Pasadena, California on December 19, 1953 spent his whole life abiding by this key phrase, to start building on my own account that better world for which I pray. Milliken conducted his famous oil experiment in 1909, which measured the electric charge that is present in many droplets of oil. A chamber with transparent sides is built with two parallel metal plates, which acquire a positive or negative charge when an electric current is applied. At the start of the experiment, an atomizer sprays a mist of oil droplets into the chamber. Because of gravity and air resistance, some of the oil falls through a small hole cut in the top metal plate. A light illuminates the oil droplets and makes them appear very bright. When the amount of upward electric force equals the known downward gravitational force, the charged droplets remain stationary. Through trials of this method, the values of the electric charge on individual oil drops are always whole number multiples of the lowest value that value being the elementary electric charge itself.